understand you've cleared up our association for Lieutenant Irving? You spoke to him? Mm. Directly? Christ, Cornelius, I'd reassured him. Cornelius Hickey is a devious since you, sir. That was your... was your reassurance. You've got some face. You know that? We were within an ace. Getting called out in front of all the men. Whipped for it or worse. You're right, if he weren't such an anchorite, we would have been. So just keep your foot out of it now, please. And let's get the whole thing. He's so assured he wants to. To think you were such a good wife to me all these months. I'll go to hell. We've had our beer and skittles, but your tastes are no rule for mine. Huh. Oh, no. Huh. Is that why I've seen more of your pasta than your face this winter, Billy? Hmm. Huh? Do you know what populates in this ship? Rats. Nesting in our rubbish, swimming in our filth. Devouring each other just to make more rats. Well, I am not a rat. I'm a man. A delightful, God-fearing man. As I had to choose, no one is out here for the view, Cornelius. My standing with command is more valuable than my standing with you. I know you of all people will understand that. Now, if this is what I need to say, then I will say it. It's not personal, but it is finished. So don't be pettish. I haven't burned you down as you so think. I've just made it so that we can both keep our skins. Please. You've sketched out the ladder, but you got me on the wrong rung, Mr. Gibson. What does that mean? Captain Crozier served me a drink just the other day. Whiskey. In one of his cut glasses, in fact. He spoke to me as a friend. A friend? Yes. He sees something in me. Could lead anywhere. Cornelius. Anywhere. Cornelius, you... The captain doesn't see you at all. You can ask Mr. Jopson or Mr. Gench if they will tell you. He'll offer anyone a drink, if he can have one too. 